the hot and techy brasa, the city bread SUV. United by five titles apiece, divided by contrasting starts to the campaign, and yet a win for Mumbai Indians on Sunday evening will see them be level with Chennai Super Kings after six games played. On Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Frick and Four Timeout. It's time to build up to Mumbai Indians versus Chennai Super Kings in the company of Tom Moody, Mitch McLennigan and Wasim Jafar. Mumbai's wins, they're back on course. Two wins after losing three. It's come on the back of the might of their batting and the majesty of Jaspreet Bumrah. The question, not just Chennai, but everyone's looking to answer is, how do you cope with Jaspreet Bumrah? Well, he's got 24 balls. Uh, and you need to manage those 24 balls, as simple as that. Because um, you know with Mumbai's attack, you can catch up. Um, and that's not saying you sit on your bat and let him bowl 24 balls for nothing. It means that you are a lot more mindful of your defence. You're a lot more mindful of strike rotation against looking for things beyond that. Uh, and I think sometimes when you put yourself in that frame of mind, you end up in better positions to take advantage of his additional pace and find gaps, and you might find a few boundaries when uh, you're in that type of you know mindset. So that would be my thought process. He's mm. clearly on top of his game, mm. so he is the number one threat. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a, that's a really good point. Uh, I don't mind the way Virat Kohli went about it the other night. I know he got out early, but what he tried to do is first of all tried to give himself some room and still get set and get still to try and put some pressure back on Bumrah. And, you know, there was a little bit of nip in the surface which took that inside edge. But he showed intent and showed that he wasn't just going to let Bumrah settle on that length because any good bowler, like we talk about with Rashid Khan, if you let them settle, uh, they're going to dominate. Yeah, early days in the season, but the numbers clearly reflect what Tom and Mitch allude to. You look at the economy rates of the Mumbai bowlers, Jaspreet Bumrah has been under six and the others have been at 11s and 12s. And it becomes more vital, doesn't this, Wasim, because can you realistically afford to bat out four quiet overs, especially at Wankade, knowing Mumbai's batting form? No, I mean, uh, when Jaspreet Bumrah bowls, he's, he's always looking for wickets. I mean, if, he's go, if he goes for 25-30, for example, it means like he had, had a quiet day. Uh, and the opposition doesn't mind that uh, because you can catch up with the other bowlers. If Bumrah gets wickets, then you know he's on the roll. Uh, so I completely agree that, you know, you need to be mindful, even though you're not don't want to be defensive, but Bumrah comes on to bowl, then you understand that he's come there to you know break the partnership or take wickets. So if you take 25-30 from Bumrah's four over, I think you've done a good job. I think the key to it is you just want to deny him wickets yeah. because he is their number one wicket taker. So he's the yeah. one that breaks the game open and allows other bowlers to come into the contest. If you can deny him those wickets, and still get, you know, as you, as you said, was him 25 or 30 off him, yeah. uh, you've had a win. You've had a big win. Among CSK's potential disruptors is Rachan Ravindra, who's been quietened after a blazing start to life in the IPL. Now, Mitch, as he comes to Wankhede, you'd imagine it's a ground more suited to his batting. Can we expect a return to runs? Yeah, it is. Look, he likes to use the pace and the bounce in the wicket, um, and Wankhede is obviously going to provide that. Uh, it's going to be very important who they roll out against them uh, in terms of their bowling. I'd, I'd like to see Tarach and I'd like to see them bowl Jasper Boomer in the first over. I think that that swing away is a really good opportunity to, to get him out early. While Kutzi has made good strides so far this season, he's starting to, to really impress everyone who's watching. He kind of lines up into Ratch and Ravindra's wheelhouse if he bowls body lines. So they're just going to have to be tactically smart to shut him down. We saw... Ishan Sharma bowled really nicely to him uh, with that wider line, um, changing the pace, and I expect uh, Mumbai to switch on and, and try and get on top of him. Otherwise, we'll just see what he did in the first couple of games and get off to a blistering start. Thoughts on the rest of the Chennai batting lineup and how they go here? Gaikwad got back, he got his first 50. Dube, obviously, they've relied on, but mm. this feels like with Mumbai's batting form, every batting team is looking to target perhaps 20, 30 above par which can't be easy. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know that Mumbai doesn't have a spin attack. Uh, so, barring Jasprit Bumrah, there are bowlers who you can attack, and that's how they played. Uh, Ajin Kirane has done that. He'll enjoy batting here. Even Shivam Dubey, that's their home ground. Uh, and those are the key guys. Uh, so, I mean, uh, the top order as well as, I mean, Rachin Ravindra is key again. Uh, and Shivam Dubey, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's very key to... Uh, 
uh, Chennai batting. Uh, but yeah, when you play in Mumbai, uh, you target those you know 20, 30 runs extra uh, because uh, the way Mumbai is batting, uh, it's not going to be easy for Chennai as well. Which Chennai batter or batters would hold most key for you in this contest? It's a good question. I think uh, I think there's two parts to it. I think the openers need to get, get a solid foundation to allow their middle order to play with utter freedom. If if they get a situation where they're two down uh, for you know let's say thirty or forty, it suddenly puts that pressure on that middle order to reset. And I don't think they've got time to reset. So I think there's two parts to that question. Okay. Into predictions territory. Mi versus CSK. Tom, who are you backing? Mi. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> am I? I think the mm. the way they are playing, they look red hot. Three 0 to Am I is the verdict from our experts. It is the only time these teams are scheduled to meet this season, unless of course the closing stages of the tournament have something else in store for us. All new hot and techy Brazza, the city bird SUV.